So, Miss Hope, how are you today? Uh, she's been doing really good. She had to stay in because it's been so muddy and she gets really bored. Um, kind of like Christians. Yeah, you get in one spot for too long and you kind of get a little bit bored and stagnated. And guess what happens? You're not studying the Word anymore. You're not praying like you should. You're bored with the whole Christian thing. Um, saints, if you get in that place where you feel like um, you, you don't have any passion, you're, you don't have any passion left to study the Word and worship and praise and go to fellowship, um, you know, it's kind of like being like a horse if you think about it. She's tied. She's bored. She hasn't been out of her stall in a couple of days. She just wants to go out and sow some wild oats. Uh, saints, we can't do that as... Um, children of the most high God because you start sowing an oat and the next thing you know oh my goodness you're in trouble and um, you know she's always looking for something um, to get her nose into that's how she got these two scrapes on the front of her nose one of them was healing and she opened it up again because she's nosy saints if we get back into the world and um yeah, we, we get a little bit bored with the routine, like hope. Um, it doesn't matter how much you comb the forelock, comb that mane, brush that coat out, get all that old dead hair off. Uh, you know, you can just have a whole entire makeover. But saints, guess what? That old Proverbs, um, I think it's Proverbs, yeah, it's 2611. Just like a dog will return to his vomit, a fool will return to his folly. Um, yeah, tell him hope. Say, you know, I'm, I'm tied. I'm in the stall. I've been up for 24 hours because it's rained so much and it's been so muddy. But saints, let me ask you a quick question. So if I, turn, if I turn Hope outside and it's still muddy, even though she's been brushed and cleaned up and all pretty, she's probably going to roll and get filthy again. Um, now you think about that. So here's the mud and the muck and the mire and the, the, the bucket with all the yucky stuff in it. I mean, think about that. It has, seriously, it has rained and it's, it's muddy out, and it's yucky out, even though the sun is out, I can guarantee you that Hope will find the dirtiest spot she can, get in it, and roll. Now let me ask you all this, if you think about it. Um, do you really want to be out in the mud and in the muck and, and return to what you've been saved from? You know, we're saved from our unbelief, saints. But if you think about it, just like Hope, she's um, she's in that stall and she's been cooped up. And, oh, you know, I've been kind of going to church for a long time and I haven't been out to the nightclub in a long time. Um, you know, I'm kind of getting that familiar itch. I just want to go outside and I want to I wanna party. I want to live it up. Uh, saints... There's a whole big difference between being bored and being stupid, okay? Now think about that. Uh, a dog will return to his vomit. That's disgusting. Uh, Hope is going to go outside, and as pretty and clean as she is, she I can guarantee you she's going to go out and roll in the mud, and I'm going to have to clean her up again. Kind of like what Jesus does for us. Every time we go back out and we waller in the mud like a sow returns to her mire. That's in the Bible. Uh, let me just look at it real quick. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 22. This, this is really interesting, saints, because this came to me um, with all of the mud and the muck and the mire. Hope. Hey, Hope. Your audience is, is waiting on you, Hope. Oh, hello. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. See? If you just talk to her, she'll come on around. She's like, okay, Mom, give me the camera. Well, let's see. 
if you turn to 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 22, and in this chapter they're talking about once you've known, um, you know, once you've been saved and you know the glorious gospel and you've tasted of it, um, you know, you're going to possibly fall back into sin. You're possibly going to be like that dog returning to his vomit, the sow returning to her mire, uh, the clean and pretty white on the horse, you know, turn her out in the mud and the muck. Yeah, she's going to roll and be filthy again. So Proverbs chapter, oh, let's see. Can't see it that close. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can do this. I'll just read it to you. How's that? And hope can be my witness that I'm reading it out of the right chapter. Uh, for it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. Now, I can tell Hope all day long. Hope, I just brushed you. I cleaned you up. You're clean. Your mane and tail have been brushed. Uh, yeah, just like a lot of folks that call on Jesus. Um, but, Second Peter 2.22, But it has happened unto them... According to the true proverb, and that's Proverbs 26, 11, the dog is turned to his own vomit. Wow. And the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. Now, Hope is not, um, she's not a pig, she's not a hog, she's a horse. But I can guarantee you with that pretty mane, it's all, no more tangles. Yeah, you're so pretty, Hope. She will go back out in the mire just like a sow. Guys, I don't care what you do to your doggy. If your doggy gets an upset stomach and he throws up, he's going to go back and lick it up. Unless you stop him and you clean it up and throw it away. A dog will return to his vomit. A sow, a, a, a full-grown female pig. You know, she's had babies. She's lived. She knows stuff. She's not going to change her nature, saints. That sow, you can wash her up, and she's going right back to that mire. This mare is beautiful when she's clean, when she's stark white. You know, her legs are clean. Her everything's just been brushed and cleansed just like Jesus does every single time that we repent. But saints, you think at some point we need to grow up and stop returning to the sin and stop being like those animals that don't have any understanding about the, the spiritual things that the Lord has shown us? Think about that, saints. Hope is a horse. She does what horses do. She has a job. She does her job. Just like you do your job. But what happens when you get bored on the job? You start looking somewhere else. You look for another job. What happens when you start getting unhappy in a marriage? You start looking somewhere else. Uh, you, you know, Think about all these different scenarios that, that we're talking about here today. The true proverb. Proverbs 26, 11. A dog will t return to his vomit and a fool to his folly. Don't be in that class, saints. You're better than that. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. For he is just and faithful. I promise you that if you will confess your sins to the Lord, he is just and faithful to cleanse you, to forgive you and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Saints, Hope's going to go out and roll in the muck and the mire. She's going to get dirty, and I'm going to have to go back over her again. The great thing is, is that the Lord Jesus Christ, every single time that you fall, you don't have to remain in your muck and mire. He will totally and completely get you out of that mire, clean you up, forgive you, and set you on your path. But at some point, saints... You have got to turn away from what sin does easily beset you. Don't be like the horse or the mule that needs a bridle and bit to rein them in. Don't be like the dog 
Hey, Chief. Yeah. See, he's in that poop bucket right now. Hey, bud. Don't be like the dog that returns to his vomit. Yeah, it's kind of disgusting, but hey, it's in the Bible and it should teach us something, right? That's what they do. That's their nature. Your nature was changed and you have been regenerated. You are a new creature in Christ. You are a new creation. Don't be like the dog that returns to his vomit. Don't be like a sow that returns to the mire. Not that she's a, a pig, but she's going to do the same thing a sow does because it's in her nature. Saints, it's no longer in your nature to sin. It's no longer in your nature to live the old lifestyle. It's time for you to come out from among them and be the true ecclesia, the called out ones. So, hope on a star. Thank you, hope. Thank you for showing off your pretty cleanness and your pretty clean tail. And wow. And Chief, we, we appreciate you being a dog, just like we appreciate all of you. But saints, at some point, you got to make the decision. Proverbs 26, 11. Do not be like the dog that returns to his vomit, just like the fool that returns to their folly. I lift you up in the name of Jesus. I bless you. I bless you, saints. And I just encourage you, don't be... Don't be, um, wow, don't be like the fool. All right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Saints, have a blessed day. It's Hope on a Star and Sister with a Testimony. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you to hide, protect, and keep you in all your ways.